So living in 2015 is amazing because I'd say in the past half decade that uh, we're seeing in the U.S. in particular wines being imported from around the world, places that were not being imported from traditionally. You'd have to go to a very specialized uh, market in New York City to find a Turkish wine. Now you can find them here in San Francisco. A really wonderful thing, and I, I predict at some point we're going to see many more wines from all across the planet still hitting the United States. Uh, just recently I found a Moroccan wine. And uh, so I think there's regions that are really coming to the marketplace, uh, Republic of Georgia, Macedonia, and so forth. So great examples there. Now what comes with this is really that provenance from these uh, regions as well as unique characteristics of these wines. So I'm really delighted to highlight feature this wine because I think it's really, that's a story to be told. And I think it's a story to be told because I think it's a really, uh, it's a wine that uh, deserves attention. It deserves to be uh, enjoyed. It uh, deserves to be you know, served at the, the wine table. And I think that's the diversity that uh, I think a lot of people are seeking that, you know, it may not be enunciated. It may not be uh, called that, but I think that's that exploration that people are seeking. I'm seeking that. I've always been a wine explorer. And uh, so being able to find these wines grace my table, very happy and grateful for that. And to really hone in on these characteristics. So here we go, let me introduce this wine right now. So the wine right here is called uh, Diren, that's the producer right there. It's called Carmena, it's a red wine. It's from Anatolia, which is the north central part of Turkey. I'll show you in a map where this is located. 13.5% ABV. So here we have Carmena, that's the blend name. Now this is Anatolia, that's in the central portion of Turkey. I'll read the uh, varieties here. So it's a combination of Turkish indigenous varieties as well as international varieties. So you have 35% Okoz Gozu, 30% Syrah, 15% Merlot, 10% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 10% Bogaskere. Now 25 cases in total. And uh, so these varieties, the indigenous Turkish varieties, as well as the international varieties are playing really nicely together. So you're not just tasting the international varieties, the Syrah Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, or just the Turkish varieties, the Koskosu or the Bogaskere. You're tasting both and uh, they're meeting halfway and I think that's a balance of the winemakers, bringing that in, bringing out the, the smartness of this particular uh, blend here. And here. So, uh, you know, when I look at the case production, it's only 2,500 cases. It's not a huge production. And uh, for us to get this here in the U.S., that's a wonderful thing. So let me show you on a map where this region is located. I think it's really important to look at that. So here's the country of Turkey, Republic of Turkey. Right there in the northern central part is where specifically this wine is coming from. And uh, I think that's the great story. And why I'm really passionate about these wine regions is uh, simply, I think it's really important to highlight support, right? I mean... Yeah, I think it's a heritage. Imagine if, if there was no Turkish wine industry. I think we'd be missing out on a great original source for beautiful wines, a historic uh, location where uh, wine grapes have been grown. So let's support that, right? Um, I think these are really uh, grapes to be admired. So uh, here we go with the scent characterization, flavor profile, and the point score. So on this I'm getting notes of violets, rose garden, in the afternoon heat, plum orchard during autumn and moist forest floor. Now is the uh, flavor characterization, then the point score. Very beautiful acidity to this wine. It's gonna go nicely with a variety of foods, as well as you can serve this alone. Uh, notes on this include spicy black red plum, dark cherry, hint of cinnamon, red pepper, hint of bay leaf, and freshly ground cardamom. Now this wine is a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale, or 92 points out of 100 points. Fantastic wine, uh, something to grace your table with. So these are great varieties to start off with and to taste, and they, these are the flagship varieties, and a great way to uh, uh, come into the fold of trying Turkish wines, uh, of this blend of international varieties and the indigenous varieties from Turkey. Let's stay connected. Also put your questions and comments, give a like to this video, share this video, and let's connect on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Thank you again for watching today. Stay tuned for more. Salud.